Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you have some raw files on your iPhone that you want converted into the universal JPEG format? In this video, I will show you the easiest way on how you can do this on your iPhone. Let's go! First off, open the Photos app on your iPhone. Select the raw image that you want to convert and tap on Share. While you're on the Share screen, you can swipe through the photos within your gallery and add multiple images at once. For now, I will stick to one image only. After selecting, scroll down the options and tap on Save to Files. Choose your preferred destination folder, which can either be your local iPhone storage or iCloud drive, and tap on Save. Next, open the Files app and locate the image you have recently saved. As you can see, I have here a raw image with an extremely large file size. You'll also notice that when I tap on it, the image just keeps on flickering, making it impossible to view the actual photo. To finalize the conversion process, press and hold on the image, select Quick Action, then tap on Convert Image. You can choose either HEIF or JPEG as the converted image's format type. In my case, I'll choose JPEG. Then set the image size. You can select Original so that the quality and resolution of the raw file will be preserved in the converted output image. After the conversion, you'll notice that the file size of the converted image in JPEG format is nearly 10 times smaller than that of the original raw file. Additionally, you can also select multiple images and convert them all at once if you have more than one raw file saved in your storage. Technically, the converted image remains stored in the Files app. So, in order to view it on your photos, you can manually save it on your gallery. Press and hold on the converted image, tap on Share and choose Save Image. Now, open the Photos app and you should be able to see the converted image you have just saved. When you swipe on the image upwards, you'll see that it remains in 48 megapixel resolution. The only difference is that it's now in JPEG format. Just as I have mentioned earlier, the converted output is able to maintain the quality and resolution of the original RAW file. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.